Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, one of the questions that was asked today uh, as I was talking about the fact that Wi-Fi 7 is for now going to be only Windows 11 24H2 or later was a question about the security of an older Wi-Fi. And we talked about it a little bit in the past. So, of course, you got several generations of Wi-Fi that were introduced. So the Wi-Fi 6 that I have has been introduced in 2019. And, of course, uh, then there's other Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 5 to 2013, Wi-Fi 4 in, 20, in 2009. So you're looking at that and you're saying, well, if I have a Wi-Fi 4, this is 2009 old technology. Well, it's not exactly just that. Your Wi-Fi 4 might be fine for what you do because depending on what you do, you don't necessarily need to have super extraordinary speed and you don't necessarily need a router that also gives you faster Wi-Fi than your actual connection to your internet service provider because that can happen. You might have a device that gives you a faster speed than what the internet is going to give you anyways. The security aspect has more to do with the device itself. So you have a router or a modem that is a router that is that technology. And the security comes mainly from the updates to the device. So instead of asking yourself, is my Wi-Fi 5 or 4 um, less secure than 6 or 7? It Not necessarily. But for that, you need to know, do you have updates to your router? So is your device updated with security fixes? Because this is where it all happens. The security flaws, just like Windows, just like we do a uh, weekly Google Chrome update, uh, security flaws exist in hardware and devices and the firmware that they contain. And that is where the security is. Is there an update to my device? So that's what you should do is check your model and brand and go on the manufacturer's website and see if they have an update that's fairly recent. Where it gets a little tricky on the security is when your devices are not getting updates for a long time. Say you'd have a Wi-Fi 4 router that you purchased a long time ago and it doesn't have any updates since 2018. Well, you got to figure out that that's six years of no updates. That means there could be a flaw that never been fixed that could be exploited. The good news on, the, on, on that is most of those flaws are often... Um, they require to have direct access to the router, meaning it has to be your neighbor or somebody in a car in front of your home to connect or to find or to get that flaw working and, and do something about it. So that's why we don't hear a lot about people getting hacked and anywhere getting malware because their router is old. Because often it's really, really, most of the flaws are to be exploited close to connect to the, 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 the router itself, basically. So that doesn't happen very often. And, you know, that need, it, if you're a business, it's more dangerous because now you'll be targeted because of business uh, information that can be get. You know, you could get money from it. Uh, home routers are not as interesting because, you know, for most of us, there's nothing very interesting there. Um, so it really has to do with the number of years. My general rule when I talk to people that ask me, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll f at, at what time should I change my router? How long should I keep it? Um, you know, if you know when the last update happened and say your last update happened yeah, six months ago, then you're fine even if your router's from 2015. And I shouldn't, you shouldn't worry about it. Um, I would say if you know when updates have been done, when it's been more than three or four years that there's been no updates for your router, start thinking about something new that will get, you know, updates. 
Um, if you don't know, if your router is more than five years old, usually I will recommend that you change it. Not just for security purposes, but for the fact that the newer protocols are often much better at connectivity. So, uh, example, if you have a seven, eight-year-old router and you have problems with connectivity, I can bet you that buying a new one will fix the problem because the newer you know, routers have the new protocols for connecting. So it's, it, that's, it's a, I know it's a tough, uh, kind of very vague answer, but it's a very tough answer also to, to, to give, you know, if your router is secure or not. Um, knowing when the last firmware update happened is surely one indication. Uh, not all routers have necessarily a flaw that can be easily exploited. Um, that's why, you know, keep in mind, after five years usually, it's not a bad idea to change that router. Mine here, now I have a new system, which uh, comes from the cable company, where I have gigabit internet, and that device updates by itself. Uh, and it's a fairly new device. But before that, I would probably change my router every two to three years, personally. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.